Hey what up folks, this is GK. So here are the five reasons why you should consider working as a DevOps engineer at a startup company. So number one is diverse skill set development. So most of the times when a, whenever you're working as a DevOps engineer at a startup company, you observe that you have to wear multiple hats. Like for example, it is enterprise world, you have to do only specific tasks. You cannot go and let's say configure a network in the cloud or create a VPC or you know for example you cannot work on the security part of DevOps because there is a specialized team for that so you have multiple business units who takes care of multiple things in enterprise company but in startup you can work on different things so that will help you to build your skill set and diversify the skill set you can work on multiple things and that would be a value addition on your resume so as you all know I have worked both at an enterprise and as well as a startup company in past and the startup companies work at much faster pace in a smaller teams right they are the ones who have who work in who work in agile methodologies more because there's a small team that does pretty much everything and when the pace is at that rate or when things are moving at that rate you can learn things much faster and that's what i have done in past as well i have cherished working in a startup company because for example let's say that you have to implement a small change all it takes is to go to a developer and then work with that person to get it get the change pushed to production or you can immediately get the fixes faster rolled out to the production whereas in enterprise you have to follow certain rules and restrictions you have certain pipelines and you have to work with certain teams so it takes some time and that's why the amount of learning that you can do let's say in six months at a startup you can never do that or most of the times you cannot do that in enterprise companies because you know in six months you can learn a lot in startup the third reason is direct impact on the business so whatever you are working you can show the direct impact or you can see the direct impact of whatever you're doing on the business like again as an example let's say you're working on a smaller task in enterprise so you might not see the bigger picture of how much that task might get or how much that task uh, will overall impact the business of your enterprise company because there are too many teams 10,000 plus employees but in a startup company whenever you are doing a certain thing or if you are optimizing let's say a docker container it will immediately impact and you will see the impact of that and that will give you uh, immense pleasure working in that sort of an environment because you know you can contribute directly to the business and uh, you will have direct proximity to the business people and you will understand how much of your work as a DevOps engineer is getting impacted at a business level. The fourth one is innovation and agility. So at a startup company, you have to innovate and work on newer tools because that's when they thrive or that's when they would, let's say, you know, save a lot of cost, whether it is cloud or DevOps or this cost is an example. Let's say if you have to use another tool, so you have to do a POC and Get the innovation going and and that's when they can make more money and, and uh, get into the market much faster so you will learn a lot of tools in past whenever i worked in a startup company they asked me to do a poc on the open shift though they haven't used it at the end but you as a devops engineer will get opportunity to work on multiple tools let's, let's say today you're working on puppet and you might as well suggest them that look i want to work on ansible maybe this project would be suitable for ansible let's do that immediately and let's do the poc and see if that would be helpful for us to go to the market much faster or the MTTR or whatever those metrics can be achieved much faster with these tools. So you will not see that happening at an enterprise because it takes a lot of time and effort to roll out any new thing at an enterprise. So the last one is collaborative environment. As startup companies are smaller companies or smaller teams, you know, you have a close knit environment or you might consider that as a small family working together on a product or something and this I have observed whenever I moved from a mid-tier company to a CA technologies uh, to, to an enterprise I face little trouble in collaborating and getting things done faster so these are the five advantages of working at a startup company and I'm sure there are disadvantages as well people who have less than 10 years of experience or you know people who are not married or can take risks i would definitely suggest working at a startup or mid-tier company early early stages of your career um, and then you can move on to an enterprise whenever you want for a whenever whenever you're looking for a stable uh, company 
and uh, you know stable income and all those factors which we might discuss in the upcoming video and that's all for this video thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel thank you